What is the range of the function defined by f of x equals 1 over x plus 2? The range is all the possible y values, or all the possible outputs you can get out of a function. The range is not as easy to get just by looking at a function. It's best to either kind of learn the different types of ranges. So for example, quadratics are generally going to have a minimum or a maximum and then go off to either positive or negative infinity. Uh, cubics are generally going to have the range of all the reals. Right? You can learn the different classes and that's one way to do it. Or you could graph it as we will in this case and see what the picture shows you. So let's graph it and see what we can learn. So one divided by x plus two. And we will do standard. So we have this uh, hyperbola, essentially. And we see that this is going to go off to negative infinity. Like part of the problem sometimes with reading the graphs is the resolution isn't great, so it's hard to see exactly what's going on. But if you think about what's going on with this, you can plug in any x value. And as we plug in a smaller and smaller x value, this function is going to go bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's what we see in, in both cases. It's going bigger in the positive direction and, and bigger in the negative direction. So this is going off to infinity. So the range is certainly to positive and negative infinity. But notice there's a, there's a horizontal asymptote here. This is leveling off at some particular y value. And if we zoom in, we see that it's leveling off at about y equals 2. So it will never attain the value of y equals 2. So the range is going to be all real numbers except for 2. And that is choice D. Now this makes sense. You can also, if you look in an in a equation, you can also justify this logically. Think about f of x equals 1 over x plus 2. What, can th what value can this attain? Well, again, if x gets really, really, really small, then this value will become really big, right? 1 divided by point oh, 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 1 is going to be something huge. So that's where we get the positive and negative infinity. But what on the other? What about on the minimum end? Well, this, if I plug in x is a million, x is a trillion, this is going to approach 0, but it's never going to ever equal 0 exactly. It's always going to have some minuscule value, even if x is enormously large. So the point is this will never actually equal 0, which means this function can never actually equal 2. It's always going to be something like 2.00000001 or 2.001, right? It's always going to have some minuscule piece at the minimum added to it. So therefore, this is kind of the explanation about how we're going to get all real numbers except for 2 because this can never equal 0. So again, we get choice D.